Hello guys, please let me know if you can hear me. Can you hear me? Jason, please let me know. Hello, Emmanuel, please let me know if you can hear me. I'm just testing my sound. Ah, oh, nice to know it, man. I have a big trouble trying to trying to start the trying to start the transmission because nobody was listening. To me. So, oh, thank you so much for for being there and answering my my question. Now I feel a little better. Hi, this is Gustav. 
developer of TupiTube. Welcome to our channel. Today is Friday and this is our fourth workshop for TupiTubers. Um, I want to start uh, saying thank you to Jason for being here and helping me to confirm that my sound system is working accurately. Um, okay, right now there are four persons connected to the transmission. I would like I would like to ask you to say hi if you are if you are there and I'm going to give some seconds so new people can join to this transmission. Um, in the while uh, I would like to remind what we had been doing uh, in the f in the previous workshops. Uh, we started animating uh, two frames works, then we keep uh, animating dots and we started to learn some basic uh, concepts about movement. In fact, I made a um, I made an interesting tube tip that I want to share with you. I'm going to copy the link in the chat. So if you are newbie and you want to start learning animation, I really recommend you to watch this tube tip. Okay? Well, today we are going to work uh, with shapes basic shapes. So I'm going to try to make two basic exercises to show you um, the main tips you have to pay attention to when you try this kind of this kind of animations. Okay, so let's do it. Uh, my first uh, example my first exercise, I'm going to do it using TupiToop app. So let's start. What I'm going to do here, is to pick colors. That's the first activity I have to do. So give me a second. Okay. For the background color, I'm going to use some kind of orange. For the field color, I'm going to use a light yellow. And for the border color, I'm going to use some kind of strong yellow. What I'm going to do this time, I'm going to simulate a piece of paper flying something like a, a paper airplane flowing in the air that's what I'm going to try now um, let me show you the road of the object I'm going to animate so you can have an idea about it more or less this is the path for my paper airplane. That's what we are going to animate. Okay? So let's start. As usual, I'm going to draw the keyframes. I like to use that technique when I'm using TubiTube app. So, what I'm going to draw is a basic triangle. Oh, sorry, I forgot to enable the field color again. This is uh, the first position for my airplane. And then I'm going to add new frames, drawing the key positions
for the object I am animating. So let's see how it goes. If you want to practice while I am explaining the exercise, that would be great. If you have a cell phone or a tablet, that would be awesome. Okay. I draw six frames, six keyframes, and now let's take a look at how it looks right now. I'm going to pick an FPS value of 12, as usual, for all these basic introductory exercise so let's see how it looks of course the first version the current status of the animation is very rough so we'll have we'll have to add new frames to make it better so let's do it Remember that I have to insert a new frame between the keyframes. As I want to as I want to create a better result for my animation app. I need to enhance the movement sensation of the object so let's do it right now I'm drawing eight frames let's see how it how it looks hi Rakesh hi Rakesh thank you for off let me check the sound it, it seems it's failing again let me check Please let me know if you can hear me. Can you hear me? Please let me know in the chat so I can keep explaining the exercise. Okay, it's nice to know. It's nice to know that that you can hear me. Okay, right now I have added a eight frames to my animation. I'm just drawing a simple triangle. That's it. And the idea is to simulate a paper airplane flying around. So let's see how it looks right now. Well, it looks better, but I need to keep adding new in between frames so let's do it as you may notice at this point animating requires a lot of patience so you have to enjoy the process Let's add a new frame right here and see how it goes. Well, it's getting better. Another frame right here. For those who just joined the transmission, uh, I want to recommend you to watch uh, the tupi tip I pasted in the chat previously. It's really important that you take a look at it. Okay, I'm going to add
another frame here. Oh, sorry, I put it in the wrong place. So it's right here. The idea of this exercise is to animate a basic shape. So if this is your first exercise, don't try to create a complex object to animate. A triangle will be good enough. Okay, uh, Jason. Jason is saying, I usually give up and realize it's impossible without a tutorial. Well, it's, it's about practicing. At the beginning, you will need some guide, of course, but with some practice, you will, you will get the skills and you will learn how to do it by yourself without any guide. Okay, as you can see, the animation looks a lot better right now. Of course, as usual, I can add more more and more frames until it gets in the best way I want but it's very close it's very close to to the final result I want to show you it looks like a paper flying, right? please let me know in the chat if, if you like the result of this exercise I would like to know it um, okay the exercise is done as I mentioned before we are animating simple shapes so for this first exercise with shapes don't try to animate anything complex try simple shapes like an ellipse like a triangle something like that okay Okay, now I'm going to post this work in tupitup.com. So I can share it with other users. I'm going to share it as anonymous user, although I can post it with my user using the login option. Okay, now my project will be available. on the on the platform in few seconds I will show you that later okay uh, question for you guys it's it's a hard exercise it's a complex exercise do you think you can do it please let me know in the chat okay well, you answer as there is a delay, a delay between you and, and me. Uh, I'm going to pass to the second exercise, but I, I want you to tell me if you think that you can make this exercise, okay? Um, Okay, I'm going to start with the with the second exercise right now. For this exercise, I'm going to use Tupitup Desk, and as in the previous previous animation, I'm going to use an FPS value of 12. Okay, so let's start. What I'm going to animate in this case? Well. I want to show you a reference and you will tell me if you watch it if you watch it that movie okay right now um, I'm showing an image in the screen and I want you to know if you recognize that character and um, you can tell me uh, in which movie it appears Do you recognize it?
This character is from the movie Aladdin. It's the magic carpet. This is the magic carpet. So what we are going to do is to animate a very basic version. Yes, exactly, Jason. <laughs> it's a Disney movie. Okay, we are going to animate this character, but uh, using a very basic version of the carpet. Uh, basically, uh, this character is a rectangle. That's what it is. It's a rectangle. So we are going to animate a basic version of the character moving without details, without um, the different uh, lines and patterns it has printed on it. No, we are not going to to animate nothing of that. We are going to animate just the rectangle, the, the main rectangle that formed this character. Okay? So let's get back to the screencast. And let's start with our exercise. The movement that we are going to animate is this one. Let me show you. Okay. Oh! I will be able to use the vector static mode to draw the, the guide I want to use. So, as usual, as in the previous workshops, I I use the vector static background mode to draw the path that I want to follow for this animation. So let me use a line. Let's use a red line, in fact. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw the line and then with the notes editor going to fix the lines and this is this is the path I want to animate with the object with the magic carpet if you wish so now let's go back to the frames mode and then I'm going to set the colors for my animation remember that it's very important uh, first of all to set the colors of my animation before I start to animate Oh, Jason! Oh, sorry, you have to leave. Okay, anyway, thank you for joining. I really appreciate it. Okay, I'm going to finish the, the animation anyway. If someone is around yet, uh, I, I really appreciate that say hi in the chat. So I can, ta I can talk to you, which I can talk to you guys. Okay. So let's pick the colors for the background for the background I want to use let's use a light green and now for the border and the fill of the carpet I'm going to use maybe a black and for the fill maybe I'm going to use Yes, I think that this is a dark pink, a light red, maybe, okay. I think we are ready to start animating the carpet. So what I'm going to do is to draw uh, some kind of rectangle, but in movement. So for this animation, I'm going to... To start drawing the carpet right here. This is my first frame. Now let's add the second one as I want to generate the illusion of acceleration. I will draw the second frame a little farther from the first frame position. Now I'm going to add the third one. This is my carpet flying. 
Okay, let's draw the four. We are getting close to the floor. And right here, I'm going to use um, one of the principles of animation called squash and stretch. So when the carpet hits the floor, I'm going to draw the impact of the carpet uh, squashing and stretching the object. So let me show you how it looks. When it hits the ground more or less like this I can exaggerate it a little more and now in the next frame I'm going to draw the carpet flying away from the from the ground and getting acceleration once again so I need to increase the distance between frames as you can see that right here okay let's add more frames At this part of the animation, the carpet will start to lose speed, so I need to simulate this acceleration, deceleration, so I will draw the carpet closer to the previous position. Oh! Thank you, Prakashivan. Thank you for joining. I really appreciate. I really appreciate it. Okay, let's take a look at uh, how it looks my animation right now. Well, it doesn't look so bad, right? Please tell me what do you think. It's a nice result, and I and I still cap, and I still can uh, can I can add more frames here if I want to to make it look better but I like this behavior and remember I'm animating just a, rectang a rectangle just that a basic shape you have to start animating basic shapes at the beginning because if you try with complex characters you you are going to suffer a lot and the result can be very disappointed disappointing so please always start with few uh, very basic very basic uh, objects like this one so for the first exercise we animated a piece of paper flying a paper airplane if you wish and for the second one we animated a, a magic carpet uh, jumping uh, Okay, I'm going to remove the the guideline from the vector static mode, vector static background mode, as we don't need it anymore. Um, I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready to to post it on 2 2 dot net. First of all, I have to save it. Let's save it like a test. And now let's check how it longs. Currently, my animation lasts um, one second. Usually, I want to post animations between three and five seconds. That's the best uh, length for an animation. My, that's my recommendation. So. I'm going to export it five times so I can create five seconds of animation. Oh, Rakesh, thank you for joining. I really appreciate it. Okay, 
so let's post this animation let's call it carpet exercise and let's post it in few seconds it will be available from tupitup.com so give me a second okay as usual I want to introduce you to the digital platform and remind you that you can register you can sign up to the platform without no price and post your animation exercise remember that I want to I want to uh, review the exercise that the exercise that you are doing so I can comment it I can give you advices and tips in that way you can enhance your abilities as animator other interesting thing about the platform is that you can have access to the source file of all the animations that are posted oh don't worry Canex uh, Canex, mañana voy a repetir esta, este taller en español a las 10 de la mañana entonces no te lo has perdido realmente el, el taller es mañana a las 10 de la mañana así que te espero ok, let's back to English oh, see you Rakesh sorry you have to go I understand ok uh, as 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 I, as I was saying um, from the platform you will have access to the source file of all the animations you find there so you can download it to your computer and open it from Tupitup desk and learn a lot about how these animations were made so don't don't forget to visit the platform to post your works to send me messages so I can check your work I can review it and I can give you advices about how to enhance your abilities, your skills as animator, okay? Sure, you can send me your animations, Rakesh. If you post it on the on the platform on tupitup.com, uh, I will check them and I will give you advice about it, so you can enhance your abilities, your skills. Okay. Um, Give me a second. I want to show you right now the profile of TubiTube where all the anonymous projects are posted. So let's see if our projects are already available and online oh that is one of them the paper airplane is already online I just posted a few minutes ago and now it's available so in this way is that I want you to post your works because I want to see how fast you are evolving while you practice okay don't forget that okay finally finally to finish uh, this workshop I want to show you two examples I was working on them I was working on uh, the first one is a version of the carpet that I could uh, make uh, last night I can put it in more details and I had more time to do it without pressure because it's really hard to teach you the exercise in real time because I, I have to do it really fast and it's not so 
is not so fun. Rakesh say, I am 12 years old and I love to animate. Uh, that's, that's really great, man. That's really cool. That's the reason of this platform. That's the reason of tupitup.com and our YouTube channel. And it's to introduce children like you into the animation world. I hope you are learning a lot with, with us. Okay. The last exercise I want to show you is about a little bug, a little creature. And I want you to tell me if this creature exists in your country. It is a slug. So tell me if you have seen a slug in the real life. I would like to know that. Do you know this, this creature? It's some kind of mo mollusk, if I, if I understand well. Uh, please let me know in the chat if you know this little, this little body. The reason I am showing you this image is because last night I made another animation uh, with this character as my my object to animate. So finally, for this transmission, what I'm going to do is to show you the result of my animation. Okay? So let's get back to the screen mode. And let me show you my slug animation. As you can see, it's a little slug moving around from a plant. As I did it last night, I have a lot of time to to draw another de to add another details to the to the animation as a, a nice background. And if you pay attention. To the total number of frames is 111 frames so I have to spend some time doing it but I really like it the final result and if you pay attention the character is very basic it's a basic shape it has no details it's some kind of a slug of a worm if you wish but it's very basic to draw the background I only have to draw it once in the in the static background mode I added the background once and then I only have to focus on the movement of the worm of the slug and that and, and that's it that was all so it's another reference about the kind of things Yes, yeah, Prakashiva. Yes, you are right. You are right. My 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 slot seemed to be in a rush in this animation. It's moving really fast, but I like the result. And I hope you be inspired by this kind of exercise to create your own. So I hope you practice a lot. Don't forget to post your exercise in tubitube.com and show me. Uh, your exercise I want I want I want to watch them I want to watch them and review them okay I think that this is all for this transmission uh, I, I'm really sorry with all the guys uh, who connected to the first try uh, this my my sound system was failing so I have to relaunch the transmission it was very awful so my apologies Anyway, I hope that in this transmission, in this session, you learned uh, a little more about animation and that you're starting developing new skills following this exercise. Okay, that's all for now. Uh, I'm going to say goodbye in the chat. See you. See you in the next workshop. Thank you for joining. And bye. Okay, this is the end of the transmission. I hope you learned a lot. 
and as usual to tubers keep animating and see you in the next video